So we finally got to the point on our 65 Chevelle when we needed to get the wheels and tires. And uh, wheels and tires can make the car. If you get the right ones, it looks kick ass. If you get the wrong ones, you won't be happy. So you wanna make sure you get the right size to start with. We always use this, which is, um, it's called the Wheelwright tool from Percy's High Performance. And it's an adjustable device that allows you to set this to a certain size. We have this set to a 17 inch wheel, um, eight inch rim width, and an overall diameter of about 26 and a half inches, which is just a little bit taller than the original tire was. I think an original tire on this was 25, 25 and a half. And uh, we, we think that that'll fit in this wheel well, but to find out, you put this up in here. It's got a variety of different bolt patterns. And then you can rotate this through and see if it's gonna hit your wheel tub. Now, right now, we're kind of cheating because the rear axle is hanging down. What you really want to do is take the springs out and compress this up there so that you know you can measure up inside the wheel tub and make sure you don't have anything contacting. We did that before. We're pretty confident we got this right. So a 17 by 8 wheel with a four and a half inch backspace is what we wanted. Backspace is the distance from actually from this front face of the hub this way and that's how you kind of adjust where the tire is going to hit the road. Uh, not enough backspace and it's going to hit up here too much, it'll hit back here in the frame. So getting our measurements right, we ordered the wheels and the wheels uh, we got from Vintage Wheel Works and these are called V40s, ta-da, uh, as you can see by that. And the reason why we chose these is this particular style is a very classic period correct style for these cars. Uh, this wheel is gonna look good on this car 50 years from now. And that's what we wanted, something that wasn't too trendy. And by looking at these, the first thing you'll notice is we have a shiny hoop around the outside and we have a cast face. Uh, this is a two piece wheel, the vintage wheel works line depending on what size you get. Some of them are one piece cast wheels, others are two piece welded together. Uh, this has the, the center has been welded into the, to the hoop and the hoops are polished. If you were to check the measurements on this wheel, the first thing you do, and, and I highly recommend checking the wheels before you mount the tires. Because once you mount them, they're yours. So when you first pull them out of the box, make sure that all four are the same. You know, when, you know or, or the same style of wheel. Wheel companies make a lot of different wheels. We know you're special, but sometimes they can get crossed up. So to get the eight inch width, um, you go from the inside of this lip to the inside of that lip. There's your eight inches. Don't go across this way. That's, it's wider, but that's not the standard of where it's measured. So it's, it's inside there. The next thing you wanna check is the wheel diameter, which again, they printed my numbers upside down on my tape measure, is just on the inside of the hoop, from the inside here to the inside there, you'll see it's 17 inches across the widest part. And then the backspace would be, again, from this surface to the edge of the hoop there, which is kind of hard to show. But if you run a straight edge across this, you'll see it'll hit right at four and a half. And that lets us know we got the right size there. The only other measurement to check is going to be the bolt pattern, which is the bolt circle here. And depending on what kind of car you have, sometimes these are bigger, sometimes they're smaller. This one, if you measure across here, um, from the top edge to the center of this, you get four and a half, right? What is it? Four and three quarter, sorry. From that edge to the middle here, across four and three quarter, that is the bolt circle. And it's got five holes, because some have four, some have six of its truck. So we know we got the right stuff. So the next thing was to pick tires. And the tires we chose are from BF Goodrich. We wanted something that was kind of high performance, but comfortable to drive every day. Because I've learned some people go get really low profile tires with a real stiff compound, and they think they're gonna go out across the car every weekend and have a great time with it. 
but the other days of the week, it sucks to drive because it's too rigid, too bouncy, not comfortable. So these are BFG um, G-Force Super Sport AS, which is an all-season tire. Um, these are 245-45-17s, which means the overall height is right at, I think, 26.7 inches. So this is the target height for the rear. Um, 245 millimeters wide for the tread pattern. On the contact patch, that's what the 245 is. The 45 number means our sidewall is 45% of the overall width here. So if it was a 50 series, this would be half of this. If it was a 60 series, the sidewall height would be more than this, or more than half, 60% of this. So we're, uh, again, using that wheelwright tool, we simulated how this tire fits up in there. And the way you do that is with the wire. This wire on the wheelwright you can look up the specs of all the tire sizes online and then bend this wire to have the appropriate sidewall height, the appropriate contact patch and section width here in the middle, and then put it up there and know that it fits. So the moment we're all waiting for is to get these mounted up. Um, and just by looking at it, I think we're in pretty good shape. Uh, the only thing I think that might be a little close this piece of trim might have to be trimmed. We might have to trim the trim because we might have a, a rubber interference with the tire. I hope not. Um, but a good thing on these GMA bodies, the rear suspension is controlled by a triangulated forelink, which means it doesn't move back and forth. So if it fits, it fits. Uh, and then the other thing you want to pay attention to is these require shouldered mag style lug nuts. If you don't get the right style lug nuts, this can flop around on the wheel studs, and if it does, it'll break the studs, and you'll go home unhappy, and you don't want to do that. So our next step is to get the tires mounted and see what this car looks like on the ground. <laughs>